What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a native advertisement and how to create a picture advertisement. This video is part three of three for my how to create a dropshipping advertisement series. So be sure to watch the other two videos when you're done with this one if you have not already. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Both native ads and picture ads are really easy to make and don't take a lot of time. Your biggest struggle for native advertisements is just going to be finding a page where the advertisement doesn't look out of place and we'll get more into that in a second. Your biggest struggle with picture advertisements is probably just going to be getting results. That's personally my least favorite type of advertisement. When you're making a native advertisement, you don't want the fact that it's an ad to be obvious. The purpose of this is so that when a customer sees your advertisement, they don't automatically turn their guard on. If you're posting a native advertisement that doesn't look out of place on the page that you posted on, then customers aren't automatically going to turn their guard on. One example of this is Twitter style advertisements which are commonly used on pages that post a lot of funny or relatable posts from Twitter. I'm going to be showing you how to make a Twitter style advertisement. So as you probably guessed, you go on Twitter to make a Twitter style advertisement. From what I've noticed, these types of advertisements don't do as well as they used to because customers have started to catch on. That's why it's super important to have a believable ad and use a page that doesn't post a lot of these style advertisements. Now let's take a look at the advertisement that I made. You will probably see this on a relationship or a relatable based meme page. Notice how I didn't talk about the sale, I didn't talk about the product, I talked about this from a customer's perspective which really gives you a different angle and a super effective one when using this type of advertisement. Now let's talk about picture ads. I don't run too many of these so I can't talk from too much experience but what I can recommend is that you use photos of the product in use. Don't use pictures of the product just laying on the ground and definitely don't use pictures of a stock photo of the product with a white background. Here are some good examples of picture ads. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this video is one of three in my how to make a dropshipping ad series, so be sure to check out the other videos if you have not already. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.